hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to revive this old wig i've had this wig since 2017 i made it in 2017 i think it was around may june when we we're going to the winter i remember that so i uh, made this wig like i said two years ago in 2017 so i've been wearing it on and off and um yeah so i just wanted to show you guys how you can revive the curls and also application and i also filmed a clip when i was washing and conditioning it and this hair was from aliexpress it was by a vendor called miss cat hair i will link uh, the hair in the description box below if i can still find it i think i will be able to find it in my history and yeah so i think this was about 20 inches and the frontal was one of my own custom made frontal but i used their hair so if you guys want to see how i revive this old week then keep on watching so i have my wig all dry i actually put it outside it was hanged on a tripod and i let it dry overnight so it's like dry and soft and smells amazing so i'm going to apply it but before i apply my wig i'm going to apply sort of like a wig cap so i saw this trick on pinterest where you can actually use like stockings uh, these are just regular stockings that you can get. I actually got mine from like um, Pep store. They were cheap like 10, 20 rand. I don't really remember. But these are just old stockings that I had that I had at home. So the reason why I'm using stockings and not wig cap is if you've seen, um, if you've watched my two previous videos where I was applying wigs, the light tone wig caps were too light for my skin tone and the dark ones the black ones were just like too dark so instead of um so to avoid applying like lots of foundation or powder or anything it's better to get something that is um close to your skin tone so i went digging and then i found these tights which i actually like better they are closer to my skin tone so i'm going to cut a piece of the leg so here i just have like a one leg piece and i'm going to apply it on my hair
So this actually looks much better already. And so before I can apply the wig, I'm taking my Revlon Flex Gel and this is what I use to apply my wigs. I'm just going to take a little bit um, and use it to hold this token because you can, as you can see it's actually like rolling back. Um, so I'm going to apply a little bit on my hairline. This gel is so much easy to remove. You don't really need to um, do a lot. You can just pull it off. It's actually moisturizing so it won't pull your hair. But it actually does like the job when it comes to holding down like wigs and wig caps. And the way I apply my wigs, I like to put the elastic band first. So I'm going to hold the lace forward, pull the elastic band and then secure it make sure it's sitting behind the braid i have uh braids going back and i also have like a joining braid at the end so my elastic band is actually sitting behind the joining braid like so and then i still have my hand here just to adjust and make sure it's sitting properly excuse me and then now i'm taking my comb which is attached at the end of the um we cap that I made the wig on and then I'm going to tuck this comb under the elastic band so everything is secured back there and now I just have to work with the front so now I'm just making sure I don't have any hair under the lace under the wig and also to make sure like the sides are sitting on the right place before I apply any gel now I'm taking back my gel and I'm going to secure the wig in the front on the sides right on the sides and then also on top of this we kept under the wig and I'm taking my hair dry again to secure the wig And now my wig is all secured and dry. I am going to um, do some baby hair. You see my hair is all dry now, my baby hair is dry and my wig is secured but next I am going to take my mousse and this one is by Claire and it's the ultra hold scrunching mousse. I got it from Clicks also. So I'm going to apply it on my baby hair because I don't like the shine of the glue and I'm not really applying a lot, I'm just applying a little bit on my um, baby hairs. Just like so, and this most like I said, is also like an extra hold, most so it's gonna give me a little bit more hold. 
but I don't really need it. I just need to hide the shininess of the gel and also to get like a natural look. So that's it. And now for the hair, as you can see, it's actually like still like looking really really good. Like the curls are still looking amazing and all. So I'm going to perfect my part first, which I actually love wearing this wig on this side part here. So this was the side part that I actually created. So I plucked out some hair. The first time I wore it and I just kept it. I love the look. I never wore it differently except for like having it all back. But whenever I part it, I always go for this part here. And now I am taking my Denman brush and I'm going to comb all the hair. Right. So to revive the curls, I will normally use like my uh, everyday conditioner, which is a Tresemme conditioner and a spray bottle. I did that on one of the wigs that I had, um, I think it was the same hair, but I will maybe try and link that with that uh, video below where I was actually like maintaining curly hair. So I will normally use like a spray bottle with conditioner and water, just and sprint it and um, Feather it out, but today I am going to use my country living conditioner and I'm not using water, I'm just going to apply this product only. So I'm not really taking a lot, just taking a little bit and then finger comb the hair. And as you can see, the curls are like forming already. So now all the hair has um, leave-in conditioner, so I'm just going to scrunch it up to form the curls. I don't really want it to be like super curly. So before I finish, I'm going to add like um, two drops of serum. This is my favorite serum. It's an Afri True Serum and this one is the polish. So there's two types of this serum. There's a polishing serum and also a heat protective serum. So whenever I'm using heat on my hair, like when I'm straightening or blow drying, I always use the heat protective serum. So it's basically the same thing. It's just that the heat protective one has a heat protective whatever to keep your hair from heat damage so i'm just using the polishing serum i'm not using the heat protective serum so i just have like two drops 
and I'm going to apply it on the hair just to add a little bit of more shine. Out of my wigs, I don't remember how many wigs I've had since like 2017, but this is one of the wigs that I've kept for all these two years. <laughs> and yeah, so this is one of my oldest wigs. I just wanted to show you guys how to revive an old wig and, and make it look new and natural and beautiful and clean and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!